the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5 -0. Oh, oh, oh. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. But I'm here to tell you one thing. Whatsoever life you got, you better go out there and do the will of the Most High like it has never been done before. And see The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom. You had something to say? I didn't ask you that. Did I ask you that? But, but did I ask you that? How? The LGBT community is disrespectful to me. Well, let, let me help you out. The LGBTQ community has always rolled the coattail of black people. I ain't finished, you disrespecting me. You see, yeah, you know why you don't care? Because you're a homosexual, and you just a violent, lustful beast, and you want to bully everybody to follow your lifestyle. I ain't gonna follow your lifestyle. You wanna tell me I'm disrespecting you. We having a conversation, you wanna cut me off, because all you know is violence, because somebody violently molested you when you were defenseless. Jump Right, ain't nobody holding you hostage. Ain't nobody make you stop right here. You can keep going. Listen, America is so wide and so long, you could go everywhere. But you choose to stop right here to make me accept you. I don't got to accept you. And I don't give a damn if you're homosexual. I ain't asking your goddamn business. Read. Two, chapter one, verse 18. How that day told you then she be mocked in the last time. Say it again. How that day told you there should be mockers in the last time. Oh, be it. They are going to be mockers in the last time. In the last days, let me tell you, let me tell you what America has done to our households. Bear with me for one second. If you got some, uh, some sense, just listen to me. Let me tell you what America did to our households. America has destroyed black households and took black men out of black homes through giving, through giving government programs. And because black men are no longer in black homes, there's no discipline in black homes. So now the white man can show your children all men of lust and evil with no check. And now we have a whole generation that will not accept correction, that will not accept black masculinity, because why? The white man done took your fathers away, and you ain't mad with him for taking your fathers away. Because if your father was in your house, your uncle wouldn't have been able to molest you. If your fathers was in your house, when your mother told your Pastor Johnson was good, your father would have knocked his jaw loose. Because that's the reason you're gay. And I'm gonna tell you straight, them pastors is molesting the hell out of you and turning you into turning you out. Keep reading. Who should walk after their own ungodly lust? Who should do what? Walk after their own ungodly lust. And that's the lifestyle you live. You walking after your own ungodly lust. Homosexuality is an ungodly lust. It's a lust. But there's some, there's a good lust and there's a bad lust. There's an evil lust. Wasn't God spreading love? What are you spreading? I'm spreading love. So if I tell you a man's supposed to have sex with a woman, that's hate. And because because I don't accept you, that's hate. You are a bully. That's what you are. The LGBTQ community is full of bullies. Oh, Oh, hold, hold on for a minute. You just hold on, hold on for a minute. You just hold on. You just said, you just said, you you got a right to do what y'all want to do, right? So guess what? Don't he have a right to love who you want to love? Do 
do he have to do he have to love your lifestyle? You cannot have, you can't force him to love your lifestyle. What he what the brother was trying to do, he is spreading love. He he he's he's looked in the hospitals. He see how many young black men and women are dying from AIDS. Hell no. I look, you hold on, you out here one minute, he he down with us. Whenever he can pull a crowd, then he with the crowd. You got somebody, he been out here all day long. All day long. Look, you know what? We love the we love the people in the black community more so than anybody else. That's love when we know that we've seen where's that? And look at look at these pictures. This here is what happens to a people that this into homosexual. Hold on, no. I'm gonna talk for a minute. This is what happens. Look, that this is what happens when you when you get AIDS. That's what happens. Guess what? And anybody anybody else that has sex, men having sex with men, this is eventually going to happen to you. Point blank, plain and simple. Beyond a sh the shadow of a doubt. Go to Hosea 4 and 6 again. Go there. You know what? It don't make sense. There it is. Look. Yeah, get it on film. Get it on film. There it is. There it is. And guess what? That don't hurt me because guess what? I am not going to die from the AIDS that they're going to get. So if they want to kiss, they want to have sex, then do it. They have, a, they have a right to do it in America. But guess what? I'm not going to have to die from the AIDS that they contract. Because guess what? I'm not going to kiss another man. I'm not going to have sex with another man. So if they want to kiss and have sex and die, they have right to do it. You know what? We ignorant because we don't agree with y'all lifestyle. And guess what? God does not agree with your lifestyle. Hosea 4 and 6. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people. What did God say? My people. God said his people. He said everybody, everybody is not God's chosen people. God said his people. His people, my people, are destroyed. God said, my people, his people, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't even know that it's wrong for two men to lay down with two men. We don't know that it's wrong for two women to lay down with two women. You know what? So guess what? You know what? If I had a son and he was gay, he is out of my house. He is no longer he is no longer going to be my son. If I had a daughter and she was gay, she is out of the house. No, nobody in my family is going to that living in my household going to go against God. I don't give a damn if it's my son, if it's my daughter, if it's my brother, if it's my mother, if the blood, I don't care. God is who I answer to. I don't answer to my child. Like that's no, what you're saying is ignorant. I'm going to answer to a child, my own child. I, I birthed the child. I had the child in this earth. No, if my child goes against God, then guess what? She got to get out of my house. Point blank, plain and simple. If I had a son and he was become a homosexual, he got to get out of my house. Point blank, plain and simple. So now we, that, that is answered for you. It's that, go to Proverbs 29 and 2. The deal is, guess what? I can't be your father because you're a homosexual. And there it is. And what that means is that I would not honor you or even recognize you as my son. And guess what? There you go. And like I said earlier, is that I don't have to die for your sins. That's what's beautiful about God. Every man has to die for his or her own sins. And guess what? It's not a it's not a thing about being mad. You know you know what happens when people come out here. They think that we're talking directly to them. They think that this is for them. This is for everybody. This is not for them. This is for everybody. And you know what? This is what gay people never understand. If every if every black man was was to turn gay, then how are we going to procreate? What would happen to society? How would we have kids? Guess what? We wouldn't have kids. We wouldn't have kids. If every woman was to turn gay or homosexual, look at that. See, she waking up to it. She waking up to it. She know it's wrong. 
She done, God done talked to her. She know it's wrong. Don't get up. She crying. This is wrong. Point blank, plain and simple. And guess what? The other ones of you that don't wake up to it, that's just, I pray that, she, that the Lord wake up. But guess what? The same thing is going to happen to you. You are going to meet a horrible, horrible death. Come on back, Mashak. Get General a hand, man. Get a General a strong hand. Get a General a strong hand. And this, this is, this is, this is why we always say what we got to say. No, you can stay right here. This is why we say what we say, man. We out here to fix black people, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Like, to some people it's a joke. But we're really out here for our nation. Last three weeks, you got white kids from Covington High School in a red MAGA hat, all unified in one race because they got one strong leader in the White House. But our kids, our children, we don't understand that we are at war. We think life is a joke, and it's a sad thing. It's a very sad thing. And listen, the media would make it that the older generation would hate the young ones. And we out here, we ain't hate no young people out here. But we got compassion for our people because we realize our youth are destroyed. Like you think our youth are living their best life and enjoying America? You know why they're so extremely happy? Because the rest of their life is extremely sad. It's extremely destroyed. It's extremely full of pain. And ain't nobody saying a goddamn thing about it but the Israelite school at UPK. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. What, let, let, let me tell you what you all need to do. You all need to stop being bullies. You all need to stop being... So why are you here arguing with me? Why are you here arguing? What's the problem? You want me to stop because I'm, I don't believe in your lifestyle? Well, listen, I don't believe in yours. You don't believe in mine. Go enjoy your Friday afternoon. Go live your life and be free. But you can't do it because your lifestyle dictates that you must be a bully to everybody else. Because the reason you choose that lifestyle, somebody bullied you into some sort of sexual deviancy. And it's a sad thing. And you're going to go home tonight and cry and wet your pillows down and get high and eat and lose the high and then get more high because your life is full of pain. And nobody don't care about it. Nobody don't give a damn about it. While the white men deporting Mexicans, while the white men murdering our children, our households is in shambles. And the Christian preachers, you to blame for it. Yeah. You black, negro, That's worthless right. mayors, you That's to blame right. for it. You, you black it. politicians, you to blame for it. Read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Go ahead. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Everybody mad because the Hebrew, because the ISUPK is out here and loud. God said what? Cry aloud. Go ahead. Stand up. Do what? Do what? Spare not. God said cry loud and spare not. Whether they're old or they're young. Whether they're rich or they're poor. Cry aloud and spare not. Read. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Get loud and lift your voice up like a trumpet. Read. And shoot my people that they're transgressing. And do what? And shoot my people their transgression. And do what? And shoot my people their transgression. That's all we out here to do. To show blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians how we sin against God. You so busy being a damn good American, you trying to please the white man. How about you please God for once in your life? Huh? How about you put the blunt down and stop getting high out your mind? How about you stop clapping pills? How about you stop being a freak and a homosexual and a goddamn lesbian? How about you please God for once in your life? But you know what? This is a result of the Christian church. And that's the difference between white Christianity and black Christianity. Covington High School is a Catholic school. Them white boys believe in the Bible and they unify together. And they come up against their enemy. They was wrong. They was wrong. But our kids, we learn in Christianity to give up your strength and give up your fight and don't care about your, your, your forefathers. Don't care about your foremothers 
and not to care about the plight of your people. You here arguing with me about your right to have sex with a man if you're a man. Listen, let me tell you something. If you want to be homosexual, go be homosexual. If you want to be lesbian, go be lesbian. I ain't stopping you. Am I stopping you? Am I holding you back? Am I handcuffing you? Am I stopping you? Huh? Brother, am I stopping you? You stand in front of me. Am I stopping you? Am I holding you here against your will? How? How? You know why? You know why I'm holding you here? Because your spirit knows we are the only people that can rid you of your goddamn demons. That's why you, That's why that demon wouldn't let you leave. You here like a sick person at goddamn hospital. I ain't hold you here. I ain't ask you a question. I was talking about Valentine's Day. You stood over there and said, hello, I'm gay. I didn't ask you that. But you're crying out for help because you're sick. You're sick. You got a mental problem. And you need help. And the Christian church ain't gonna help you. Read again. 58 verse 1. Coalesce. Stand up. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And shoot my people their transgression. That's all we out here to do. Show Israel where we're going wrong. We're going wrong in America. You know why? Because we're trying to be proper Americans. And the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. He is against God. He is against everything God said. God said pork is unlawful. The white man says the other white meat. The white God said shrimp, crab, lobster is an abomination. The white man teaches a delicacy. You think you're eating something expensive. When you're eating a roach, a sea roach. You want some, you want some shrimp? Just go, go home at night and get the roaches out your kitchen. You busy making raid money. Just go eat the roach. Go, go, go curry the roach. Go, go skew, skew with a roach, barbecue the roach if you want shrimps that goddamn much. God said homosexuality is If you have a question, go to the table. The brother at the table is going to answer it. You got a question? Go right there to information desk. God said homosexuality is an abomination. America says it's an alternative lifestyle. It's an alternative lifestyle. Alternative meaning there's one lifestyle, but you can get a different one. A different one. I understand that. I understand why you're saying that because you're deep in your lust. You're deep in your lust. You're deep in it. I, listen, I understand. I know you do. I know you do. And this is why the future of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians in America is very, very dark. It's a very, very dark future. Because the white man done destroyed our homes. These are young children, man, young. 14, 15, 16. None of them look a day over 16, right or wrong? Right or wrong? And they're totally in unity over sinning against God. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. And it's talking about children in two senses. The white man is a child. He's a grown nation of children. The general just brought out how some white man was in a park in Maryland having sex with a goddamn, what, a gerbil? A hamster? The plays of a child, a guinea pig, having sex with a guinea pig in a park. In a parking lot. Children rule over us and oppress us. And what's the other concept? Our young children are now able to rule over us because America done destroyed our household. Destroyed our household. Listen, man, 30 years ago, somebody would know one of these young kids' parents and smack the sense out of them and send them home. Sm uh, yeah, you see, because children rule over you. Read again. Your, your father would, but you don't have one. Your father, you, you don't have one. Listen, I don't need to know you. I don't need to know you. What you don't understand, what you don't understand is, I don't see your life. I don't see your life already. If you had a father, you wouldn't be out here shaming him the way you do. You wouldn't be out here shaming him the way you are shaming him. If you had a father, if you had a mother, if you had people in your life that cared for you, you wouldn't be out here shaming them. And listen, I'm coming down on you. It's not your fault. I know you want me to think it's your fault because you're looking for a fight. Because you're full of anger. I'm more angry than you. It's not your fault. 
You see them Christian preachers? You got a day to pay for this. You see you white devils? You got a day to pay for this. You have destroyed my nation and live lusciously in America. God damn you white devils, man. Read it again. Children of the oppressors and women rule over them. Is that the Bible? Ain't Muriel Bowles as a woman ruling over you? And children are our oppressors. She just said, who gonna correct me? Who gonna do it? Huh? You're daring somebody to do it because you're full of the spirit of America. Full of lawlessness and lust. And I understand, kid, it ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. I am mad at you. I would like to see you straighten up and get your life in order. I would like to see you be full of discipline. I would like to be see you be full of justice. Where's all the zeal for them cops who murdered your brothers? Let me ask you homosexual something. Jesse Smollett. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5 -0. Oh, oh. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. But I can tell you one thing, whatsoever right you got, you better go out there and do the will of the Most High like it has never been done before. And see you next The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom.